guys, Isabella Green here. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to re-empower yourself. This video goes hand in hand with the one that I uh, made recently on how to get rid of karma. So check that one out as well. So re-empowerment. We are in the space where human beings are stepping back into their sovereignty, into their power into their mission, into their purpose, into embodying who we are, into embodying our gifts, and to bring in um, our innate structure of uh, the soul, of our our innate um, abilities, our innate potentials, bringing all that forth. Uh, but we live in the system that does not necessarily support any of that, right? So let's take a look at the whole thing. Do you know that uh, one of the very first uh, steps that is considered uh, the step towards awakening is taking responsibility for your reality? First thing that we need to do on the move, when we're moving towards our own self-empowerment is recognize that there is nothing that's happening to us. That we are creators and co-creators of our experiences. The experiences that are happening to us or seem to be happening to us through external reality, what we perceive as external reality are a reflection of our internal state of being, our patterns, our way of thinking, also some of our imprints from our parents, from our ancestral inheritance, from our karmic flow. And once again, I offer you to listen to my video on how to get rid of karma because they address all that. Uh, but taking responsibility for your reality, how does that work? We are moving out of the place of victim. Nothing is happening to you. We are co-creators. We are creators. We are reflecting. What we're projecting is what we are bringing into our reality. Of course, you're going to now ask me, oh my God, what about all of the atrocities that we're looking at back in, I don't know, Africa and, and uh, continents and poverty and children's uh, suffering and all of that, right? Well, here I can tell you this, we're not only creating our reality individually, but we're also collectively creating our reality. Um, let's consider an idea that the human beings were trained to focus on the negative. Because the negative and the trauma and the suffering and all of that feeds specific types of energies. How about this? Uh, let's take a look, you know, for example, racism, right? Uh, one of the biggest uh, situations here on this planet that is creating so much uh, pain and suffering for, for the human beings. But do you know that racism was not always there? Do you know that that's an artificial construct? That's an idea that was artificially implemented on earth, artificially implanted onto earth for the human beings, some human beings to justify what they were doing and that there's actually uh, a creator of racism. There's a person who um, created and created a whole theory supporting racism and that was an Austrian monk who wrote uh, volumes on that and based that on the whole cosmic origin and, and this and this and that and we've been rolling with that all along but you know that that did not exist before how about all of it how about we take a bigger picture how about we imagine that humanity suffered a major uh, abandonment and self-worth uh, trauma as a collective when creator gods took off saying hey you know this experiment failed forget this we just we're out of here you know for example right and so uh, what happened to the ones that were the closest to the gods they tried to oh what we considered the gods right they tried to um, 
move themselves in the place of power because they had the knowledge or they had previously access to the gods and so they became the hierarchy and then they had to create some sort of uh, way of control in the rest of the population and so we as a collective as a humanity we for example right it's just a theory that I just came up with but take a look at that we as a collective suffered an abandonment wound and self-worth were not good enough so we're going to play like a bunch of uh, traumatized children with each other and focus on injustice it's in, it's in just that uh, these gods left us so it's in just to uh, whatever is happening now we're abandoned now we are we cannot open ourselves up to love and and uh, because it hurts because we might get abandoned and so let's go for hate instead and so both as with racism and for example like that theory about um, abandonment wounded for humanity that is fed or the idea itself, the idea that implements control or serves specific uh, levels of population back in the day, right? And still serves it. Um, these ideas are supported by what? They're supported by what we have in us, the instinctual behavior the reptilian brain if you wish you know the territory being territorial uh, fighting for resources that's all reptilian behavior there and so ah oh, you know let's piggyback on those uh imprints that we received from creator gods for example right and develop theories and and train human beings to focus on atrocities focus on injustice focus on sadness focus on pain look at our news channels it's still happening every day we are collectively creating the world where all of this is not only possible but also supported by our focused attention and we don't even realize how that was all implemented as a system all right but let's get back to our individual stories we are pulling in our karmic lines we're pulling in our ancestral lines we're pulling in uh, all of this stuff that i just talked about right like as a as a, the structure of control of the human beings that keeps recreating the same uh, reality uh, we're also pulling in our own childhood traumas that are uh, that are a mirror of our parents traumas and and you see how like intricate and, and um, really really complicated kind of that is and and these things have really long roots uh, so what do we do right oh my god it's it, it's freaky when you look at it it's like huge oh, the question is how do I heal or how do I move past that the mountain of constructs that I'm facing here as a human being or as a collective but the collective starts within an individual each individual when we step when when that individual steps into the space of awakening it's an, each individual has a choice to continue or to discontinue pulling in and playing out those patterns pulling in and playing out those karmic imprints pulling in and playing out uh, their parental traumas throughout their own experiences or even their own childhood stuff so when you become awakened you have a choice to take responsibility for what you are doing in every given moment to become aware of what it is that is driving your behavior what it is that uh, is supporting your patterns or your sickness or your suffering or your choices in life you can pause right there see the bigger picture you don't have to go and heal the whole bigger picture but you can interrupt that flow right there at that moment and say hey you know what i'm no longer available i'm a sovereign being i'm a sovereign being in the new earth 
or on the way to the new earth where I have a choice of what I do with myself how I act, what kind of energy I project, what I'm bringing forth, what I'm bringing for the generations to follow. If we don't interrupt these, that whole ball of, of crap rolling through, you know, with the planet here, with the old planet, uh, then it's going to keep going. But we we don't want that to continue. We don't, we're conscious human beings. We're awakened now. Let's take responsibility of how we create in our reality. So, what does it look like? What are you thinking about? What are you focusing on? Uh, what is your internal state? If you don't know what your internal state is, take a look at your body. Where are your pains? Where are the pains in the body? Your body will tell you about your internal state. Take a look at your finances and your romance. That will tell you about your internal state. Hire a professional to take a look at the whole picture. Like myself, for example, I give you a comprehensive package of information from childhood to cosmic throughout incarnations. Take a look at what the uh, traumas are or what is going on there that is driving yourself. If you have blind spots, we'll have blind spots. You know, it's a process. But... Uh, the awakened human being who is willing and ready to take their power back and to start operating as a sovereign being within the sovereign space and being a, a being fully responsible for what they are creating in their realities. That human being knows their story but has a choice. You no longer are a victim to your circumstances. You no longer a victim to your ancestral lineage. You no longer a victim to your parental traumas. You no longer are a victim to your karmic imprints. You have a choice to continue pulling this in and playing with these or to stop and focus on your gifts, your abilities, what it is that you're bringing here, what is your mission, what is your purpose, what is the joy, what's driving your heart, what's excited, what's exciting for you, what makes you happy, focus on that, I'm not saying not look at, at uh, you know, there's this whole teaching about, oh, never to look at the sad stuff, yeah, you have to be in the neutral space in the middle, you have to be that become the ultimate observer where you know your emotions both the positive what we consider positive and negative what we consider negative and just be in the middle don't become any of this make a choice of where you're polarizing positively polarized awakened human being is responsible for their choices every day and uh that ex expands from you know, even if we don't take, let's say, let's not take uh, even any what's considered multidimensional uh, ideas here, right? Oh, energetic state, what is that? Oh, karmic stuff, uh, energetic imprints, what is all that? Right, if we, we let's not take, uh, let's not even take this in con into consideration. Let's take, uh, for example, our everyday 3D creation of reality. How does that play out? How did you end up in your job? How did you end up in this relationship? How did you end up with the house that you live in? That? How did you end up with these children? How did you end up with God knows, you know? How did you end up with the circumstances that are now a part of your life? Wasn't there a moment when you made a choice to go for it, right? So, and then after that you made another choice and another choice and another choice and all of these little breadcrumbs, the choices that brought you to this present moment. If you don't like it, you have a choice to change it. You have a choice to make, start making a different choice. That is an example of taking responsibility for your reality. And that's an approach of an awakened human being. You don't have to continue doing anything you don't like. You don't have to continue being um, in a place of disempowerment, believing that external circumstances are on in your life because you brought yourself there through energetic 
uh, energetics through your state of being, through your way of thinking, and through making your choices. It's a whole package. So taking responsibility of that package and doing things differently is the way towards your empowerment. All right, guys, I think I've talked enough here for today. I love you. If you'd like to have a session with me, you can reach me at isabellagreen.com. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can catch me here on Facebook. Thank you very much for tuning in. I love you. Take care. Namaste.